chapter 1 1 physics motion in a straight line motion in a straight line so this is the chapter to start with manam uh, what we do is at the level 1 ee chapter level 1 chestam so level 1 konch easy ga ne untundi uh, so first initially how to use the mathematics principles what in matte untundi motion in a straight line ante dinne rectilinear motion an kuda antaru that means you are moving in only one line. So, then the forward movement. This is the e-movement is positive x direction. And this move is the backwards. That is negative x direction. This is the same thing. What type is the Upwards movement. It is just a positive y direction. Alage downwards. Well, object gonna downwards. Vertically downwards move. Negative y direction. So we will have only these four kinds of movement. Clear? will have only these four kind of movement left to, to right positive x direction right to, to left negative x direction moving upwards positive y direction moving downwards negative y direction clear to start with now now we have some formulas what are the formulas speed is equal to distance by time distance divided by time okay now velocity is equal to displacement divided by time So, these two to analyze, we have to analyze what is distance and displacement. There are two things. One is called speed and velocity. So, we will analyze what is distance. Distance is the total path, total actual path, actual path traveled by an object or a particle it is sometimes referred as referred as path length it is sometimes referred as path length please note it No touch, sir. Okay, good. Now, displacement. Displacement. It is the shortest distance. Shortest distance 
between the initial and final points final points so it is something sometimes it is referred as straight line distance it is sometimes referred as straight line distance clear yes sir yeah we'll solve some problems based on two definitions so the problem one these are distance and displacement velocity and speed related problems okay we'll start so let us say to start with there is a circle okay this circle is having a diameter of 14 that means radius is 7 meters 7 meter radius okay diameter is 14 7 meter radius now these two points are a and b now it is given a particle travels from a to b completing a semi circle semi circle we'll put x here semi circle a x b this is how we write the arc okay a x b if we put a curve like this that is it is following a curved path semi circle a x b find the distance displacement distance displacement and if it travels for travels for uh 10 seconds from a to b find speed and velocity this is the question okay now from a to b it forms a semi circle right so this is this is following semi circular semi circle circumference so a x b refers to the curved path is distance distance is half of the perimeter that is half of the circumference that is pi r right you know that circumference is 2 pi r half of that is pi r so pi is 22 by 7 here r is 7 so that is 22 meters 7 meters i have given so it is 22 meters okay displacement 
Displacement is the shortest distance between A and B. That is a straight line distance from the initial and final point. That is seven plus seven. That is fourteen. That is fourteen meters. Shortest distance. Okay, got it. Ardhavi naar kunta. Yar kena ardhagna kapat chappandi. Understood, sir. Understood. Very good. Now. speed speed is distance covered by time distance by time so distance is how much 22 divided by time is 10 so that is 10 seconds which is 2.2 meter second inward clear now this is displacement that is if you consider displacement what we get is velocity velocity is displacement that is 14 divided by 10 seconds so you have 14 meter second inverse so the sorry 1.4 meter second inverse so the values are different 1.4 meter second inverse the values are different Super different uh, situations. Okay. Generally, velocity value will be less than that of speed value. The answer. Next one. Question number two. A particle travels along a square. Okay. A particle travels along a square. of square ab cd particle travels along the square ab cd of side length a side length is a meters small a meters okay now it travels along the square and reaches the point c it started from a and reached the point c particle starts from a and it reaches the point c find the reaches the point c in 10 seconds okay in 10 seconds same so calculations will be easy so i'll give 10 seconds okay reaches the point c in 10 seconds find same things distance displacement uh speed speed okay speed will write it as uh, speed Okay, speed and velocity for now. Speed and velocity. So right now, so how to deal with this? So can anyone give a try? Yes, sir. 